adoption of a 2030 agenda, uh, heralds a new era of global solidarity for promoting prosperity, equal opportunity, and environmental uh, stewardship. Uh, for the first time ever, we have a transformative set of global goals by all countries and that applies to every nation. Uh, I'm Nina Retro, I'm Secretary General of the European Public Health Alliance, EFA. The SDGs go to the heart of everybody's health and the heart of everybody's health care around the world and in Europe. And the fact is that when it comes to provision of good health around the world, 2030 is really just around the corner. So if we don't start now, uh, we're not going to get there. So it's a case of getting everybody on board right now and getting countries to commit very, very soon. Yeah, my name is uh, Sean Jones and I'm the policy coordinator for the European Antibody Network, EAPN. And we come together uh, to, to come up with a common project. And one of those common projects is to monitor and make the EU accountable for its policies on poverty, specifically and on inequality. Uh, so for us, it's just the next step to talk about the SDG goals. So this is something we can really do together. So if you've got any interest in this at all, please come, please join, because that is really going to make, a, make us effective together as a, an alliance. Hi, I'm Joanna Maycock. I'm the Secretary General of the European Women's Lobby. So we want to make sure that governments are held accountable for their commitments to gender equality, both in Europe and beyond. It's really, really exciting to be part of such a broad coalition reaching across the grassroots activism and campaigners and lobbyists across Europe. I'm Oriana Otocan, I'm president of ALDA. Uh, ALDA uh, works with many, many partners. Uh, ALDA has more than uh, 200 of members. So our strength, of course, to be part and our honour to be part of this uh, coalition is uh, to have a big experience and to work in the, almost all to the projects or to the other activities in almost all of the EU countries, but also in many, many uh, neighbouring countries. Uh, this coalition uh, it's very important because through this coalition uh, we can uh, be stronger and through this coalition we can really, really participate. I'm Deirdre de Berka, the Director of Advocacy with World Vision's office here in Brussels. And World Vision got involved in SDG Watch because we saw a need for other CSOs like us to come out of their policy silos and to actually work together in a more integrated way so that we could really properly monitor and implement the Sustainable Development Goals in EU internal and external action. Hello, I'm uh, Leida Reynold from uh, the EB, which stands for the European Environmental Bureau, and I'm there the Director of Global Policies and Sustainability. As EB, we joined SDG Watch because for us it's very important also to work with other sectors than only the environmental uh, movement. The Agenda uh, 2030 for Sustainable Development is also a political agenda pushing for the paradigm shift and also for a new kind of governance that is better fit for purpose to achieve sustainability. I'm Seamus Jefferson, I'm the Director of Concord with the European Network of Development NGOs. Well, as a network representing sustainable development uh, organisations with a global outlook, uh, one of Concord's key priorities is to make a success of Agenda 2030. Um, and I think this will only be done uh, as part of a broad coalition. And so I think there's something very uh, potent um, about having uh, CSO representatives from the rights movement, the women's movement, anti-poverty movement, disability, uh, global NGOs, um, human rights, transparency organisations, all involved in one effort. And I think if we can keep that coalition together, um, we can achieve our goal and we can also create something really very creative and something at a time like uh, we have at the moment that I think gives an example to our leaders of you know that there is another uh, there is another way to work. My name is Sasha Gavizel. I'm the executive director of Women in Europe for Common Future. We're an international network. Um, our organisation was one of the organising partners for the Women's Media Group, which is one of the nine civil society groups working with the United Nations on the process of sustainable development. So SDG Watch Europe is super important because we now have these high ambitions at the global level and now we really need to implement them. And when I talk to people of the local authority in my town, they don't even know the SDGs yet. So that's why we need SDG Watch Europe. We need all these civil society organizations to start working on the ground with the policymakers, with the local communities 
and we have to show that these ambitions are feasible, that we can do this. So I'm Barbara and I work at Solidar at a Decent Work Project Officer. So at Solidar we have joined since the beginning the SDG Watch Europe because we believe it's a unique example of coordination, of organization coming together from very different sectors to share experience and to learn from each other to monitor the European Union policies in the different sectors. Now, civil society organization monitoring of European policies is needed to ensure that these policies indeed serve the interest of the majority, the interest of the people and the planet, and not the interest of the few. Hey, so, my name is Geneviève Ponce de la Drière, and I am the director of WWF European Policy Office here in Brussels. And now that this miracle of the adoption of the SDG uh, has happened, the, the challenge is to have it implemented. And we want to have it implemented in Europe. And for that, we are, we are decided not only to be a member of the SDG Watch, but to be a very active member. And it is a dream that Mr. Timmermans has shared with me. He wants to be able to have a big interlocutor representing civil society at large. Hello, I'm Ingo Ritz from the Global Call to Action Against Poverty, GCAT. I'm the director of programs. We are active in SDG Watch Europe because we believe that to eradicate poverty and to stop environmental destruction, we need actually to end the level of inequality we have now. Sense 3 is about engaging civil society and citizens. That's actually quite important because the Agenda 2030 will be implemented only if uh, citizens and civil society know about the agenda and if they demand from politicians. Otherwise, we will not create the change we need. Now that Agenda 2030 has been adopted, the real work starts. Our challenge as European civil society is to make Agenda 2030 a reality, making sure that we reach all of the sustainable development goals and targets within Europe and globally. These goals and targets can't be achieved by governments alone, nor by international institutions such as the UN. They can only be fully achieved with active and broad-based civil society engagement. At a European level, organisations that join SDG Watch Europe will ensure that they can shape the new EU structures that emerge as we begin to work together and with other stakeholders to ensure the implementation of the most ambitious and potentially transformative global agenda ever adopted by the international community.